recycling plastics from trash to treasure with the Replast OECS Pilot Plastic Recycling Project brought to you by Unite Caribbean with support from the French Republic and CATS GIZ. Be a hero. Reuse and recycle plastics. In an earlier episode, we learned that the role we play in the process of plastic recycling is to collect, sort, and drop off at the collection point. Well, that is just the beginning. What happens to the plastic? Terra Polyester is the recycling plant in Honduras to where Replast OECS ships the bales of PET and HDPE plastic beverage bottles for recycling. At the plant, the bales are weighed, followed by a trip to Quality Control Department where the bales are checked for contaminants. From then on, the plastics go to manufacturing and processing. This video is from a similar recycling plastic plant. It shows us the process involved in preparing the plastics we drop off at replast collection points to be fashioned into new products. This amazing process starts here at the Bottle Recycling Center. The first stage is shredding. When you throw away your bottle, you often leave a small amount of drink inside. Shredding all the bottles releases the unwanted liquid so it doesn't affect the quality of the plastic. The shredded bottles are then wrapped in cellophane and boxed up ready to be shipped around the world. It may be rubbish to us, but to the Chinese textile industry, this plastic waste is a valuable commodity. Recycled bottles arrive from all over the world to feed the busy clothing industry. Sorting separates the clear plastic from the colored stuff. Clear plastic can be made into white clothes or material that can be dyed, so it's extremely valuable. Most clear plastic bottles have colored lids and stickers on them, but these have got to go, so the bottles head for the baths. The colored caps are made of a different plastic which floats. A worker can then strain them off the top. Then there's a separate bath for the stickers, but the workers have to be careful around this one. It's corrosive caustic soda, very bad for the skin, but very good for removing labels. After all their swimming, what's left is a pile of clear plastic shreds. But it's rather wet. The next step is the ovens, where it's mixed with some light-colored plastics. To produce white cloth, you need some light-shaded material in the mix. The plastic will spend about 10 hours here in these rotating drums, slowly drying out. These workers have to maneuver their cart back and forth underneath the drums to catch the plastic as it falls out. But they've also got to mind their heads on all the other spinning ovens. So we've got our plastic bottles broken down and mixed to produce the right colors. But it's very hard to weave cloth from bits and pieces, so another step is needed. The mixture is sent through this rotating screw where it's heated to 270 degrees Celsius. This melts the plastic, but to make cloth, we don't want a big lump, we need thread. The liquid plastic is forced through a sieve and emerges on the other side as great long strings, which are collected in the container below. We've now got thread, but it isn't strong enough to make cloth yet. First, it must be combined and stretched several times while being heated. This will bond the fibers together. Now, it's taken ages to produce this material, but the next part of the process is to tear it apart again. The fluff that emerges is the raw substance you need to make polyester. However, that takes place in another factory altogether, so the workers here bale it up and send it on. It looks like cotton wool, but it's an entirely man-made substance created from your old bottles. This machine scrapes it all onto a very rough cloth, which is loaded here, ready to be carded. Carding is where the bonded fibers are brushed together so they all lie in a similar direction, which strengthens the material. The sheet of polyester felt that emerges is now ready to be turned into thread. These machines will tease it out. 
they spin off mile after mile of pure polyester, which is collected on these bobbins. And finally, we reach the point where your old plastic bottles become cloth. Like a spider at the center of its web, the loom draws in thousands of threads and weaves a new sheet of polyester. To give it a smoother feel, there are still two more processes to go through. The first is very delicate. This machine creates tiny loops on its surface. The second stage is the opposite. Using a series of tough steel brushes, these spinning rollers catch and tear all the carefully made loops. The shredded surface helps give the material a soft, furry feel, making it far more comfortable to the touch. What an eye-opener. Cloth made from plastic. Polyester fabric is made from, yes, recycled plastic. So every time you handle a PET or HDPE bottle, tell yourself, this is raw material for a garment. Doesn't that make practical sense to recycle plastics? This has been part of a series on the Replast OECS project brought to you by United Caribbean with support from the French Republic and Pats GIZ.